Historically, the term cosmobiology was used by the German medical astrologer Friedrich Viehau and Swiss statistician Karl Kraft in a more general sense, to designate that branch of astrology working on scientific foundations and keyed to the natural sciences. The term cosmobiology was popularized in English after the translation of the writings of Reinhold Ebertan, who based a large part of his techniques on the midpoint astrology work of Alfred Witt. The term most frequently refers to the school of astrology founded by Ebertan. The main difference between Witt's Hamburg school and Ebertan's cosmobiology is that cosmobiology rejects the hypothetical trans Neptunian objects used by the Hamburg school and practitioners of Uranian astrology. Another difference is the significant expansion of cosmobiology into medical astrology, Dr. Ebertan being a physician. Cosmobiology continued Witt's ultimate primary emphasis on the use of astrological midpoints along with the following eighth harmonic aspects in the natal chart, which both Witt and Ebertan found to be the most potent in terms of personal influence, conjunction 0 degrees, semi-square 45 degrees, square 90 degrees, sesquiquadrate 135 degrees, and opposition 180 degrees. In cosmobiological analysis, planets are inserted into a special type of horoscope often referred to as a cosmogram derived from the Uranian 90 degrees dial chart and delineated. The primary reference, research text for cosmobiology was first published in 1940 by the German astrologer Reinhold Ebertan. The name of the book is The Combination of Stellar Influences. The original German title is Combination der Gestianeinfluss. Its foundations were derived largely from the early versions of the Regelwerk für Planetenbilder by Alfred Witt, and then further built upon by Ebertan and colleagues. Ebertan defined cosmobiology as the following. Cosmobiology is a scientific discipline concerned with the possible correlation between the cosmos and organic life and the effects of cosmic rhythms and stellar motion on man, with all his potentials and dispositions, his character and the possible turns of fate. It also researches these correlation and effects as mirrored by Earth's plant and animal life as a whole. In this endeavor, cosmobiology utilizes modern-day methods of scientific research, such as statistics, analysis, and computer programming. It is of prime importance, however, in view of the scientific effort expended, not to overlook the macrocosmic and microcosmic interrelations incapable of measurement. What is noteworthy about both cosmobiology and Uranian astrology, which has developed along a different path technically, is their emphasis on critical analysis and testing by observing more clearly measurable or observable astrological correlations, rather than to simply perpetuate observations or assumptions written in historical astrological texts, a problem leading to widespread criticism of mainstream classical astrology. Some have speculated that the term, cosmobiology, was coined specifically to divorce its precepts from the manifold ambiguities of, and subsequent widespread biases against, classical astrology. Three prominent published cosmobiological authors in the English language are German-American cosmobiologist Eleonora Kimmel, American cosmobiologist Aaron Ober formerly Savilin, and Australian cosmobiologist Doris Greaves, all of whom have published texts in cosmobiology based on their own substantial experiences. <laughs> 